General Dynamics Land Systems, Canada, GDLSC, developed the initial light armored vehicle, LAV, which was unveiled in 1976, with approximately 500 units produced for various operators worldwide. Weighing in at 11 tons, this vehicle featured a 6x6-wheeled chassis and could be outfitted with a range of mission equipment and armaments, enhancing its adaptability for different service requirements. Over time, three main variants were produced, known as the Cougar, Grizzly, and Husky. Subsequent to its initial release, the series underwent revision and enhancement, resulting in the creation of the 14-ton LAV-2, featuring a more adaptable 8x8-wheeled setup. This updated version was introduced for service in the 1980s. The U.S. Marine Corps, USMC, adopted this model, designating it as the LAV-25. Concurrently, the Canadian Armed Forces embraced the vehicle, designating it as the Coyote and Bison, while Australia introduced their variant known as the Aslov. While the earlier versions of the vehicle remain in active service, they are rooted in Cold War doctrine and armored warfare theory. As a result, a new model, the LAV-6, was introduced in 2016 to address modern requirements. Based on the LAV-3, this military vehicle retains the 8x8-wheeled configuration but adopts a more modular approach to mission equipment, allowing for better integration with modern weaponry. The design process for the LAV-6 took place from 2009 to 2011, with pilot vehicles being produced in 2013 before formal service acceptance. Manufactured under the GDLSE brand, the LAV-6 has been chosen by the Canadian Army to replace its aging fleet of LAV-2 and LAV-3 vehicles in the infantry fighting role, IFV. The updated model boasts a weight of 23 tons and measures 25.8 feet in length, 10.7 feet in width, and 10.8 feet in height. Internally, it accommodates an operating crew of three and provides seating for up to eight passengers, offering light protection. Positioned atop the hull is a powered turret housing a 25mm M242 Bushmaster automatic cannon, complemented by a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun mount. The Bushmaster assembly can be replaced with a remote weapon station, RWS. Powering the vehicle is a single Caterpillar C9 series six-cylinder turbocharged diesel engine, delivering 450 horsepower. This propulsion system enables the truck to achieve speeds of up to 60 miles per hour and cover a range of 370 miles. The IFV's 8x8-wheeled configuration provides it with versatile mobility, capable of traversing various terrains and keeping pace with the main fighting force or operating independently. Its chassis is supported by an independent hydropneumatic suspension system, ensuring stability and agility across diverse environments. The LAV-6 maintains the well-established form and functionality of its predecessor. It features large road wheels and excellent ground clearance, ensuring optimal performance in various terrains. The glassy plate is broad and shallow, with the driver positioned at the front left and the engine located to the right, allowing ample space in the middle rear hull for the turret, ammunition, onboard systems, and passenger seating. In addition to the traditional hatches on the hull roof and turret, there is a larger, more conventional entry at the rear hull. The sides of the hull can accommodate a range of equipment, from pioneer tools to extra fuel. The turret's cheek sections house twin banks of four smoke grenade dischargers. The LAV-6 offers a range of sub-variants, each designed to fulfill specific roles. These include the base infantry section carrier, ISC, as well as versions configured for command post, observation post, engineering, and SA short range air defense, SHORAD, roles, among others. This versatility allows the LAV-6 to adapt to various mission requirements effectively. Likewise, the Armored Combat Support Vehicle, ACSV, serves as a parallel variant to the base LAV-6, featuring its own lineup of sub-variants. These include configurations such as troop cargo carriers, command posts, mobile repair teams, and electronic warfare platforms, among others. This demonstrates the adaptability of the ACSV to fulfill diverse combat support roles effectively. As of 2023, the Canadian Army stands as the primary operator of the LAV-6 series. Additionally, Canada has sent a modest inventory of these vehicles to Ukraine to bolster the country's defense against Russian aggression. These vehicles, numbering at least 39, are locally referred to as the Super Bison. Furthermore, the Canadian Army currently possesses over 600 LAV-6 hulls, with an additional 350 units still awaiting delivery.